All right, we're gonna do a quick video comparison. Um, we got a customer brought in a barrel that was done in Duracoat about a year ago, and um, I've got this uh, black piece of just stainless steel pipe that's done in Cerakote. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick comparison on Duracoat versus Cerakote. Got a house key here. You can see the visible scratches, just that easy. Same key on Cerakote apart. It's gonna have to do. I'm doing it by myself here. See the scratch marks? It's actually the brass from the key. It's come back off. It's come off the key, and I can actually just wipe it with my thumb, and the brass actually comes back off. Um, got some lacquer thinner here. It's really kind of hard to do. On the dirt coat. That simple. It's already starting to come off. You can see where I did an earlier scratch test and it's already completely come off of there. And now it's even soft enough after putting lacquer thinner on I can scratch it with my thumbnail. And uh, Cerakote doesn't gum up or anything, and you can I can sit here with lacquer thinner just clean on it, and basically it just cleans the surface. And just to prove that it's not water or something on Cerakote, there's a Duracoat. So not only does it have chemical resistance, but also superior scratch resistance. You can actually sit there and scratch it with a brass key, and uh, then the brass will come off of the key and, uh, and wipe it back off with your finger. That's all for today.